Good morning guys. Welcome to the first day of school for spring 2021. I know this one has been long anticipated because I just feel like now that we're online, winter break wasn't really a break so much as just like an interlude. But now we're here. I only actually have one class today, so it's not really a full day of school, but I've just got a few fun things going around. I'm obviously in a new location, so definitely a very exciting kind of day for me to vlog. So I thought I'd bring you along. I'm currently living in my sorority house. So, you know, by now you guys might have seen my move in vlog. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more college content from me. I have a lot of really fun videos planned for the semester and I definitely am excited to kind of show you guys what this second semester of Zoom University looks like. Also follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here. I'm definitely not the best at Instagram yet, but I'm trying to get better. So follow me to learn more about my journey for self-improvement. Thanks. My first and only class today is at 9.30 in the morning. It's currently 8.45, so I just got up. You saw me fail at trying to pour a cup of tea on camera. Never again. Um, there is boiling water literally all over my entire kitchen setup. So again, starting off the semester just on such a good note, but I think I'm going to make myself a bagel really quickly and then just kind of chill before class starts. It is 9.30 a.m. and we are heading to class, which is wow, on our laptops. Here's so Amy. Exciting. We're going to different classes, but it's a blast. We love online school, so we'll update you guys how this goes in an hour and a half. Go Bears. <sighs> oh boy, I just finished my first biochemistry class. It was very fast paced, um, but it's really interesting. The professors seem super, super nice. I just have a lot of things to learn and memorize and there's no no thoughts in here right now. Holy vibes. So definitely gonna need to get back into the school grind. Ooh, in different location. I'm gonna go get COVID tested. Gotta put on real shoes first though, obviously. And <laughs> We have to get COVID tested two times a week for my sorority to live here, which is not hard because the COVID testing site is just like a block away. So very easy to do so. And just is important for keeping everyone safe to make sure that we're using surveillance testing and it's free through the school. So why not? So I'm gonna go do that. I heard the lines are pretty long this morning because everyone's back and Basically anyone living in Greek housing, in the co-ops, as well as in the dorms has to get COVID tested at least once a week, I think twice for most of them. So um, chaos unfolds, but we're gonna go do that. And then if we have to wait in line, we'll just vibe. It'll be great. So let's do it. You said son, you'll remember this day for the rest of your life. Hello friends, I am back from testing. Oh my God. Ooh. So the line was 30 minutes long. I've never seen that many people going to get tested at once before, but the people at the site said that there was 1400 people getting tested today compared to like 900 usually. And they were going so fa like as fast as they could. So kind of crazy, but you know, we did it. It's good. Luckily, I don't have any classes today, so I wasn't really in a rush or anything, but now it is lunchtime and we just switched to a new food service for the sorority. We have grab and go meals for the first 10 days because we're all isolating in our rooms at the moment, obviously COVID. Um, and so I am just going to show you guys what we got today. It looks so bomb and I'm as usual, hungry, but we've got some tomato soup, silverware, cause you know, 
it's important. And then this guy, I haven't opened this, so you guys are also seeing this when I see it for the first time, is hard to open. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a caprese, caprese, caprese sandwich with arugula and it looks like cucumber and tomato salad, so. It is later in the afternoon. I have just been on the phone with my insurance. Life is just super fun, adulting rocks, and my insurance switched pharmacies, so now I have to figure that out, and it's going, going well. But then I decided to make some tea, so I made this Earl Grey tea from Trader Joe's. I haven't tried this one yet. I really like Earl Grey tea though, in general, and I thought that I could just do a little tea taste test of me trying this for the first time. Um, yeah. It's definitely really good. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend this if you're a tea drinker like myself. There's a lot of bergamot flavor in it, so you get a lot of fragrance out of both when you're drinking it and when you open the box, it kind of just like hits you, which is kind of nice. So this will be great, kind of a pick me up before I start actually doing work this afternoon, which I really, really am sad about. But you know what? It is fine. We're just gonna get it done and go bears. It's 2.15 now. We are eating Fruit Loops with a spork provided to me by Cal Dining when I was a freshman. So pinnacle of health. And I am just filling in my lecture notes from this morning because my instructor talked super fast and there were a lot of diagrams and I am not the fastest writer. It is a little bit later once again and I am going to go for a run because our Wi-Fi is down so there's really not much else to do. Wait, JK, it's back. But like, you know what? In the name of procrastination, exercise isn't the worst thing to do. So I'm gonna go do that and then dinner, which is Taco Tuesday. So that's gonna be delicious. Yes. We're just gonna ignore how disgusting I look right now because I just finished my run and did a bit of abs, butt, and inner thighs workout. So that was kind of nice. I feel like for me, I like to run when I'm getting stressed and that was just perfect because I'm just starting to think, you know, about like internships, classes, and all of that kind of creeping up all at the same time as school starts. So it's definitely just important to get outside, take a break, and for me that was really helpful. But now I am just on our roof before I go take a shower before dinner and I just wanted to show you guys the sunset because it looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna walk over here and let's go check it out. So we have this really cool like accessible roof that you can go, Ooh. <laughs> I just tripped over something. It's fine. So we have this really beautiful roof that you can go on and this is like my favorite place to watch the sunset, eat dinner. I call my parents up here all the time. I cried up here many a time, but look at this. What? Try and get it to focus. Is that not like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Like seriously, the sunset views from here are just absolutely unparalleled and I'm such a fan of them. So I'm just going to enjoy this for a little bit before I jump into the shower. I mean, come on. Yes. Look at that Golden Gate Bridge! There she is! Wow. I love Berkeley and this is a major reason why. <laughs> I know I look very pink. Um, the lighting in here is a little bit whack, but right now I am just in my sorority study room and I'm the only one in here, which is really nice because that means I can talk. But basically I'm just going to keep going through my biochemistry lecture for today. I want to read the textbook section for that class because 
I definitely am having a bit of a hard time just like jumping into it and I think that that would be really helpful. And then also I'll just be kind of doing some homework, trying to do a bit of pre-reading and work for my new classes tomorrow. That is the plan. Okay guys, it is around 11 p.m. now and I am just working on cover letter stuff and research stuff. For me, professional stuff is really hard because I get scared and just really intimidated by the whole process. Um, I have like really bad imposter syndrome when it comes to professional stuff just because I feel like I'm not like polished enough and I don't have enough internship experience but honestly like everybody starts somewhere and it's okay to not have any internships in the past. Basically what I'm doing is to try and get over my fear of writing cover letters is to write one cover letter every night and also to contact the people from that company every time that I write a cover letter so that I just get more comfortable with the process. I know that I'm gonna get rejected by most of them, maybe all of them, but I think that just familiarizing myself with the whole process and hopefully getting some new contacts in the industry will be helpful, but we'll see. You know what? It's difficult. Fingers crossed that something comes through um, so that I can be employed this summer. <laughs> that would be nice. I think that's kind of what the plan is for the rest of the night. I do have an 8 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm trying to go to bed at midnight. You know, seven ish hours of sleep would be fantastic if I can start the semester setting the precedent for sleep. Maybe I'll actually be able to like be well rested and like youthful this semester. I actually think that I am just going to end this first day of the school vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.